And now Chef David is here in the kitchen with us. He's brought some of his wonderful heirloom tomatoes. What are we going to make? I think uh, we're going to do some kind of uh, Mediterranean style heirloom tomato flatbread. Okay, that sounds good. With a little bit good. of Parmesan, some great tomato, basil, some olives, and just simplicity. All right, let's get started. Great. And this is dough you brought from the restaurant. Yes, that's our own own dough, our little bread dough. The particularity of that is that we actually, it's a it's a regular bread dough where we put a little bit of honey in there. That's my personal touch, so it crisps nicely in the oven. All right, and a little sweetness. A little sweetness is good. If you want to pass me the tomato, I please. I will do that. Beautiful tomatoes. Oh, yes, they are. And this green one, this is ripe. This it is, is not ripe. A... It's, it's the variety of the tomato. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's ready to eat. I mean, it looks like it's not ripe, but it really is. Then we have a, what I call, we got a, a blood orange type of heirloom tomato. And that's a, a red zebra and just a yellow one. And this one almost looks, it has the structure of yes. a pepper almost. More, more but... dry, correct. Oh, wow. But the actual pulp of the tomato is very, very sweet. All right. So we're just gonna slice a little tomato. Two slices of each. It's like, really, it's like slicing into a steak. It's very amazing. Suddenly, I just wanna stand here and eat tomato slices all day. A little salt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'll bet this will be even better. Gonna place them nicely on the on, on the pizza dough. Oh, wonderful! Just by altering a little bit what we have. So what I like to do, we'll sprinkle a little bit of uh, fleur de sel just on top of it because I think the you know the salt is gonna extract and amplify the the flavor of the juicy tomato, and that's what you want to preserve. And I'm gonna put a little bit of olives. So Niçoise uh, black olives have been pitted. Then we'll take a little bit of fresh basil. Just gonna roll that very nicely and... Oh, everything's starting to smell so good yeah, already. So all simplicity and very simple dish. Everybody can do that at home, you know, the, the dough is easy too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to place that in the oven for, you know, as hot as you can for about seven to eight minutes. Voila. So, I'm going to place it here. Wonderful. Beautiful. Look at that. That is delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now on to dish number two. Chef David, what are we going to make next? Um, we're going to make uh, some uh, Arctic char pan seared with a marmalade of tomato, olives with La Corcia new potato roasted with garlic. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So, so we're going to start with the, the marmalade. We're going to start with the, the marmalade. All right. So what, what do we, we need, do? Uh, I got some lovely organic tomato on, on the vine here. And uh, we're just going to cut them. We're going to score them. And we're going to dip them in hot boiling water just to uh, be able to blanch them a little bit and be able to actually get the, skins get right the skin off. off. Yes, All that's right. right. So very fast process. So very hot boiling water. Yes. Try to avoid burning myself. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Fantastic. Go. All right, and how long do they have to be? You in know, there? probably a few seconds, you're gonna see uh, where the crusts are. It's gonna start peeling off slightly. Okay. And that's when, when you know they're ready to be taking, and then we're gonna put them in that ice bath over here. All right. One. All right. Perfect. Yep, the skin's already peeling away. Perfect. Put them in the ice bath. All right. 
And that'll just help us? Stop them from cooking and it'll help us to just, you know, the skin should get off very, very easily. And that's what we do now. See, that just spills right off. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, nice to do that. I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> Now the next uh, process is I'm gonna, uh, really I'm gonna cut them in half, and then again in in half, so in quarters then. And they're still pretty firm in the middle. Oh yeah, they're they pretty were. firm, yes. Yeah. Hold their shape a little bit. All right, and this is already hot. Already hot, yes. Not too hot, just a little bit. Generous in the olive oil. Up. Then I'm going to put my tomatoes in there. And uh, we're going to go on, on medium heat. Yeah. Just like that. I'm going to chop some shallots, just like rondelles like that. You know, it doesn't matter. It's thin, but not too thin. Voila. And then I'm going to put a little bit of sugar, just a tiny sprinkle. Voila. Wonderful. I'm going to crack some pepper. Okay. And to finish, uh, I have a lemon here that have been uh, washed before. I'm just going to zest, it, zest it a little bit, yeah. So you want this all basically to turn into mush? Pretty much, yes. Okay. We're going to cover it up, and we'll be getting back to that in about 15 minutes. All right. All right, so we're going to let the marmalade simmer. What are we going to do next? We're going to prepare the, the potato. So I have some beautiful uh, organic little fingerly potato. Yeah. We have some La Corcha Prosciutto, which is making in Iowa. And it's Iowa and prosciutto. That's Iowa wonderful. and prosciutto. Flour to sell again. We're going to have work with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of rosemary, olive oil, and we're gonna just pot roast all that okay. as a garnish for our later fish. All right, let's put it together. Perfect. I'm gonna put the potato skin on. Perfect. I'm gonna take a whole garlic glove, just like that, so very rustic. And I'm gonna just cut in half. Oh, wow. Just like that. I'm gonna put that in there. Perfect. Then I'm going to take a little bit of rosemary here. Just a sip of it. Salt. Okay. So you can smell already the, yeah. the, the aromas here. And then here I'm going to take a little bit of prosciutto, just like that rough chop, rough broken. Nice brown garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter here. Butter is gonna help to brown everything, and and everything is tastes better with yes. butter anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna cover it up. Okay. And we're just gonna put it in the oven. It's gonna self steam by itself for about uh, I would say 20, 20 minutes. Okay. That's it. At three seventy five. Three seventy five. All right, so we're going to quickly sear the fish. Correct. Uh, what's this process? So we take the Arctic char, and we're going to put it in the pan, a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, seasoning, just flip it aside and finish it in the oven. OK. Very good. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my pan. And I'll add a little bit of, little bit of butter. Okay. And season the fish. I'm going to start cooking it skin down to crisp the skin a little bit. See? Let's put some black pepper also. A little bit of seasoning is good. So try to get a little crisp on the skin. So it's going to be very gentle cooked. I'm just going to baste it with the, with the fat. All right. There you go. Until it gets a little cooked up by the heat. And 
place that just like that in the oven. Voila. All right, all the pieces are done, so let's Correct. put them together. Yep, so for that, we're gonna start with uh, plating the fish. So a little bit of tomato marmalade, just like that on the plate, to see how shiny the, the color is. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a wonderful color. Voila, and there's no, no water running out. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna place the, the fish just like that on the side. All right. Yes. I'm gonna chop a little bit of a uh, little bit of basil as a as a garnish. And the beauty of it, uh, you know, the tomato marmalade, you can do that in big quantity, jar it, keep it in your refrigerator for several weeks. Yeah. And reuse it, just even spread it cold on, on I was a piece gonna of say, bread or I something could, like I that. I could use that in a lot of different ways. <laughs> just, you know, nice, uh, simple, simple product. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil here just for the fun of it. There you go. Put a little bit of salt on the side. Oh, that's beautiful. And then uh, now we'll plate our potatoes, and voila. Oh, wonderful. What a beautiful meal. Chef David, thank you so thank much. Thank you. It's good to be here. Thank you. <laughs>